All right, the shocking killing, uh, of course, of Baba Siddiqui is still being probed by investigative agencies. Uh, and as we speak, remember, uh, state owners are being accorded the final rights of Baba Siddiqui taking place in Mumbai at the Bada Makbara. A uh, short while back, namaz took place and now the state according a funeral to Baba Siddiqui. My guests on the show continue to be with us, Rajiv Pandey, Dr. Asha Mirge and Arvind Kumar Jain. Um, Rajiv Pandey, before we slipped into the break, uh, Dr. Asha Mirge questioned the law and order situation in the state. Uh, your response to that, you know, the kind of um, incidents that she has mentioned, not just pertaining to this particular killing, but also the, she mentioned the Pune rape, the Badlapur horror, all of these cases taking place in Maharashtra. Shriyadi, crimes can be divided into two parts. One are the individual people involved in the crime. In all the crime mentioned by Asatai, the police has taken action and the perpetrators are being punished. What I was referring, the crime by the gangs or terrorists or Naxal, these are a crime by the gangs and a group of people. That type of crime has reduced in the last 12 years. We have seen what has happened in last 2006, 2008, 2009. That can, I am saying, you know, Maharashtra is a big state. Individual crimes will take place, police will have, will have to take action and police has taken action. In all the case, what Asatai has uh, just uh, referred, police has taken action. The accused perpetrators are in, uh, behind the bars in some uh, that uh, encounters have also taken place. What I'm trying to say in Mumbai, like where gang war was very common under the rule of Congress and NCP government. Now that is not existing. Terrorists are not coming and killing 200 people. I'm trying to say you will have to differentiate. There is ex DGPs on the, cha on the panel. Whatever I am saying, that crimes can be divided into two parts. You know, one kind of crime individual, tomorrow you go or I, I, I go and uh, do some crime. Uh, uh, stopping that crime is little difficult than when a gang is operating, when a terrorist organization is operating, when Nexal gangs are operating. That kind of violence has gone down. It is, it is, it is, it is completely uprooted under this government. Across the country, I am saying, what I'm trying to say, first okay. time, I'm admitting, just say one line, I'm admitting, first time after several years, this kind of incident uh, killing has taken place in Mumbai. Mumbai police will have to go and find out who are, once these two accused one, Jisan Akhtar and another Shiv Kumar Gautam is arrested, I think who is a mastermind uh, hmm. will be on earth, and we all should know. But Asha Tai is not trying to understand okay. the difference between these two things. Then I cannot do anything. I think um, ex DGP is here. He can explain that individual crime and crime, like in UP, the STF has rooted out uh, the, the, okay. uh, the gangs who are trying to uh, run parallel economy. In Mumbai, parallel economy was running when okay. Congress and Okay, Rajiv, Rajiv you Pandey, you've made your point. Let me go there. across to Arvind Kumar Jain. Yeah, okay. Arvind Kumar Jainji, um, you know, what we're getting to know is that the Mumbai police has said that Baba Siddiqui was not given Y category uh, security. He had a non-categorized security and three police personnel uh, were, were there for his security. Uh, now, my, I, I want to understand from you, when you know that there are threats coming to Baba Siddiqui, threats are being given, threat to his life is there uh, since the past at least 15 days is what we know so far. Uh, how does it work then? I isn't the category of security supposed to be upgraded? What is the process like? Because the question here that is being raised is the fact that, you know, he was given security, yet this happened. So many politicians, so many industrious businessmen, they keep on demanding increased security. There is a process for that. There is a committee headed by DGP, Principal Secretary Home and, and DG Intelligence. They look into all the aspects and only when they clear it, the, the security is, is increased. They might not have increased it within with, uh, in the last 15 days, but they might have done it in the future. But even if three people are there to secure him, they are good enough. They should have secured him. I think preliminary inquiry will be on whether they were on their guard or they were relaxed and they were whether they were present with him or not, this is the subject matter of inquiry because even three people are enough uh, for, to protect a person. 
you don't require 50 people to protect a person. So that should also take place. The most uh, alarming aspect of this killing is, and of several other killings also, that young boys who have absolutely no criminal history, whose faces are yes. not known to the police, they are being recruited by, by gangs. And they are being trained, and they are uh, being uh, they are being provided with weapons and and money, and these uh, killings are, are taking place. You see the faces of these three people. Do you yes. think they can be the mastermind? No, they are not the mastermind. They are just tools. So and some mm. and some of the gangsters they are sitting in in uh, foreign countries, in Canada, in uh, European countries, in in jails, and they are operating from there. The Action will have to be taken. Uh, yes. In the past, uh, MHA, Mr. Amit Shah had ordered interstate action against uh, um, uh, gangsters and mafias. It had impact. So that will have to be that will have to be launched again uh, because interstate action is, is not taking place. Hmm. You know, uh, Arvind ji, police forces are, uh, different police forces are taking action in their yeah. states. Arvind ji, I also want to understand from you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is something that I wanted to ask you also, the fact that, you know, uh, while this angle is still being probed by the Mumbai police, the Lawrence Bishnoi angle, uh, the fact that these gangs are able to recruit unemployed youth from Punjab, from Haryana, from Uttar Pradesh, there is, of course, a heightened concern as to how and, uh, you know, why these youngsters are being recruited. Uh, but at the police level and at the government level, what can be done then? Uh, it's it's a very tricky situation because the, these num the mobile numbers of these people they are not on the surveillance of police police uh, it, their faces are not known yeah. to the police or to the intelligence agencies so uh, watch will have to be kept and very stern action will have to be taken because the same thing happened in Go Goga Medi case same thing happened in Sidhu Musewala case. In this, in Atik Ahmed, Atik Ahmed yes. killing at uh, at Prayagraj, those three were unknown faces for for police. Even I have been in UP for 37 years. I had never heard of those people. So it's a very tricky situation. And extradition of important criminals from outside the country it has become very difficult because those countries are not prepared to cooperate. So that's why I am saying that. And some of the gangsters are sitting coolly in. They hard jail and masterminding all these. Mumbai police will have to take him uh, under uh, police custody mm. demand and then he will spill the beans. Mm. Okay, uh, we leave it there. Of course, we also have information that the Mumbai police is in touch with Gujarat police where at Sabarmati jail, Lawrence Bishnoi is lodged. We'll have to see how this really moves forward. But I'll leave it here. Rajiv Pandey, Dr. Asha Mirgi and Arvind Kumar Jain. Thank you very much to all of you, you for joining us on Mirror Now.